So let's take a look at how to use SEMrush to spy on your competitors. In this example, we're going to use roofing as the niche, and we're going to use Phoenix, Arizona as the location. So if we were going to start a roofing company in Phoenix, Arizona, first thing I would do is come to Google and type in roofers in Phoenix, Arizona, the abbreviated version, however you want to do it. And we should see a number of companies pop up. These are all like directories and stuff at the top, but then we see like some local companies, Lions, Scott's, EcoWatt, Attics and more. There's some companies that actually serve the Phoenix area here. So we can start pulling these companies. I'm just going to copy their website address here. Come over to SEMrush and paste the URL in and click search. When I do that, it pulls up this overview page where we can see all sorts of different information about what this company is doing with their online marketing. Everything from their organic SEO to their paid traffic. There's just backlinks, tons of different stuff we can see in here. The main items, well, obviously they're listed at the top here, but the main items most people are concerned about, with a website at least, are going to be these ones up here. So their authority, how they're seen as an authority on Google, usually this is determined by their backlinks uh, and, and a bunch of other stuff. But then their organic search traffic, paid search traffic, and backlinks. So these are sort of the, the heavy hitters. And if we just click on these right here, we can open these up and see what is going on with specific things like their organic search traffic. So we can see that they are ranking for a whole bunch of random stuff, actually. <laughs> so they have a what looks like a blog we can see over here. And they've been posting all the way back from 2014, 2015, 2016, 2020. So it's looking like it's probably a good idea to have a blog if we're going to compete with Lions Roofing here, for one thing. So, you know, as you start to dig in and see what has what, what's going on with the organic traffic or the paid traffic for a specific competitor, you'll start to see some trends and, and be able to, to determine exactly what you need to do in order to uh, be superior with your online presence to these competitors, right? So if we look at their paid traffic, we can also see what keywords they're paying for, which is probably going to give us a better indicator of where they're making their money from because people aren't going to continue to spend money on paid ads if they're not seeing results from it because these paid ads cost, you know, a decent amount of money. <laughs> we can see the cost per click right here. It's like $16 per click. Some of them are as low as two, three dollars, five dollars, but a lot of these are actually high cost per click, like roofing repair. Sixteen dollars gets twelve thousand searches a month nationwide, and a portion of that is going to be searched within Phoenix. So they're showing up when people are searching that term within Phoenix, it seems, and other places, I suppose. But uh, roofers Phoenix, like you can see, they're number one here for this term in the. Um, paid search results and they're paying like $12 per click this gets like 480 searches a month and so we can go after in our Google Ads we can go after a lot of these same keywords and we can do it using the same or similar ad copy that's better right so we can switch over from their positions to the actual ad copies here and then we'll be able to see what they're using in their ad copy so they're talking about how they've been around forever they've got BBB awards, their amazing company, 25 years of experience, all stuff you would want to know if you were going to hire a roofing company to come rip the roof off your house and put a new one on, right? So from here, we can even export all this information, the different keywords they're going after, the ad copy that they're using, the blog posts that they're writing, the keywords they're targeting with their blog posts. We could even refine down the actual pages that they're using. So you can see they're using uh, like this residential, uh, this forward slash residential here. You can filter out these different pages through the advanced filtering here. So you could like exclude 
URLs containing forward slash blog. Apply this condition. And we will be able to see their quote unquote pages, right, that are not their blog posts. And even get a better sense of what keywords they're ranking for with their main pages, what traffic they're getting from that, and all that good stuff. So tons of helpful information. Again, you can export this, export this if you need to, but tons of helpful information about your competitors, what they're doing to have success. And my my standpoint is why reinvent the wheel? If you can just go figure out what's already working in a niche through taking a look at several different competitors, like this is another competitor here, Scott Roofing Company, and we can go through and take a look at what they have going on, where they're getting backlinks from, who their competitors are. We could even take a look at who their competitors are too and start finding even more competitors and start to find some trends, see what all these companies are doing, what keywords they're going after. They're all going after terms that have roofing in them, it seems like, which is obvious, of course. And reverse engineer what they're doing to achieve some success in this niche. So that's basically it. That's how I would use SEMrush to spy on my competitors in a niche if I was going into a new niche. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably gonna start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.